Watch to Learn Weather with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. We have a small line of thunderstorms uh, starting to move through into Rice and into Goodhue counties here tonight. Nothing severe. I don't uh, think we're looking at severe weather. We'll see maybe uh, some thunder, some lightning associated with this uh, little line of thunderstorm activity. But that's about it. That's what we can expect the rest of the night. Now this holds together. Maybe northern Olmstead County sees a quick burst of rainfall. If you look off to the north right now, you can see some see some lightning here uh, stretching uh, from about Mankato all the way up and near about Red Wing. I know on a couple of our loose and out alive cameras, we can see some of that lightning off into the distance. All the stronger storms to the east of I-94 here tonight, and most of the storm activity has really stretched from about Minneapolis and then to the east and also up near Duluth. We saw close to baseball size hail up in northern Minnesota. That's the only line we have. The one struggle we've had tonight, right? Initial thought was this frontal boundary, which is now stationary, was going to push through. It hasn't done that here tonight. It's stalled out and that's the lifting mechanism, right? So in order to have thunderstorms, we have to have something push that air way up high in the atmosphere to grow the clouds. Well, it just hasn't happened because that front hasn't moved. Now again, storms are staying isolated as we've kind of been talking about the past couple of days, but this is about all we can hope for is this line starts to move in to Rochester for some rain. You can see the we can see the lightning outside here as we look north on Highway 52 tonight. That's from that small line of thunderstorms. We still have a lot of moisture in the area. Dew points are still upper 60s, so it's muggy outside. 70 currently here in Rochester. Wind out of the southwest at seven miles per hour. Now future track uh, pretty much limits our chances completely here tonight. Watch, here's that little line of thunderstorm activity fizzles out by about 11 p.m. and then completely gone by say about midnight. We'll see. We have the moisture, so if it continues to move down to the southeast, it might be able to hold together enough to give us some raindrops here in some portions of southeast Minnesota. If you're south of I-90 tonight, you're completely dry. Temperatures tomorrow will be fairly comfortable after this front moves through mid 70s for highs coming up tomorrow and then we'll see a slow warming trend into next week. Hour by hour forecast those isolated storms continue for areas north of I-90 here tonight. Like I said, northern Iowa completely dry and the bad news is I think we're dry pretty much the next five to seven days too. hopeful on Sunday, maybe a couple stray storms. That's about it. And then we move towards next week to make matters worse. We're looking at well above average temperatures and we're finally getting a surge of some really hot and humid air. Notice this big red circle here for July 25th through the 29th. We're looking at well above average temperatures and I think we could even make it to the mid 90s in some spots coming up next week. So that is not what we want to see, especially since we're in a severe drought here in Olmstead County. 59 for the low tonight. A couple straight thunderstorms possible here before midnight. Thursday's downtown looks pretty nice tomorrow. So you have some positive news here and do something fun go down to Thursday's downtown. Some partly cloudy skies here in Rochester tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Seven day forecast here. 78 for the high Friday, low 80s Saturday and Sunday. And then I talked about the warmth returning upper 80s, low 90s, likely Tuesday, Wednesday and extending into late next week. Guys, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and keep working the sprinklers. Mm -hmm.